Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay out there and um, I thought today I'd just do a quick angel reading for the day and just see what the energy is and any guidance that might come through. So I've picked one card from each of three of my favourite oracle card decks and just to sort of get an energy read of um, something that might be helpful. So the middle card was the first card I pulled and it's the card from the Archangel Michael deck which says pay attention to your dreams and I see this operating on a few different levels. First of all pay attention to what's happening on the inner planes. Pay attention to yes your literal dreams that you have at night. Try to remember them. Your angels are speaking to you throughout the night. Your guides are communicating with you. Um, this is happening on a collective level because we're all being guided into something higher and lighter and greater than what we're seeing around us at the moment. So it's important for us to really pay attention, not only to our dreams, but also to take time to meditate and to connect with those higher realms and dimensions and to really pay attention to the messages and the signals that come through. To keep our energy clear and high so that we can use discernment to understand the messages that really are for our highest good as well. But I also feel this operates on the level of our dreams in our physical reality. So the dreams, the goals, plans and intentions that you may have set before this whole debacle began to erupt on the planet. Hold on to those dreams. Keep in mind and keep in your vision the idea that nothing lasts forever, this too shall pass, and there will be a point in the future when you will not only reconnect with your physical reality, but when you will emerge from this time wiser, stronger, clearer possibly about what you really want to do with the future. And the final level that this operates on, I feel, is that we need to all, as a collective, continue to pay attention to our collective dream. So we're on a mission here to raise the vibration of the planet and to commit to the ascension process on the Earth, to our own personal ascension, but also to coming through this time collectively into a time when there will be more fairness, more justice, more freedom, love, cooperation, and creativity for all. So we need to hold on to that dream, pay attention to that dream. In fact, paying attention to that dream could mean visualising it, paying, um, uh, committing to collective global meditations as well, and understanding and believing that these things do actually make a difference. The second card I pulled was the card of creative writing from the Archangel Oracle deck, another one by Doreen Virtue, and the card is creative writing. The message on the card says make time to write down your thoughts in a journal, pen or article, sorry, uh, write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. So you might not see yourself as a writer as someone who wants to pen an article or write a book, but you can still make use at this time of your ability to just write your thoughts down, get your feelings out on paper, or it might even be just looking at it in combination with the middle card. It might even be, this is the ideal time to get clarity about what your dreams really are, your highest goals and dreams and aspirations for the future, and to start goal setting, writing things down, strategizing, writing out a plan for how you might achieve those things. You might also just want to write out your feelings about quarantine, maybe what, well, about lockdown, maybe what you're learning at this time that might serve you in the future, how you've become more aware of your needs and of, of who you really are as a person on those deeper levels through having this time of quiet contemplation or you know more time at home less time going out seeking distractions or um, being sociable or, or whatever it is that we usually spend our time doing that that prevents us even though those things are wonderful and we'll return to them um, the things that prevent us sometimes from really connecting with our deep inner knowing 
So, the third card I chose from the, I think it's the Dolphins and Mermaids deck, was Worthiness. So, there might be some um, people who are feeling at the moment that because things are looking so bleak, maybe things have changed in terms of job circumstances. This is how it came to me anyway. This is what I felt when I pulled that card in relation to the time that we're in. It could be the case that some people are feeling that they're not worthy of um, some of the, the things that they're dreaming of. They might feel that um, they might have lost some confidence through uh, having lost a job or lost control over finances or, or feeling that they might have lost their way. Perhaps some people have lost confidence through not socialising, not being out in the world. And for some, perhaps you're just connecting with a deeper understanding of where maybe you've always felt unworthy. And maybe you've been manifesting things in your life up to this point that haven't been for your greatest happiness or your highest good. And perhaps now that you have this quiet time, you're allowing yourself to see and recognise those feelings of unworthiness. And the message of the card is to know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So perhaps when you write your plans and your dreams, you need to write bigger plans, bigger dreams. You need to be really thinking ahead in terms of, right, I've had this period that's forced me to take stock and to reevaluate what are the things that I've been letting into my life, my experience, or allowing to control my work reality, my finances, my life journey. What are those things that do not serve my highest good? What are those things that I've accepted because I I do, do not believe I'm worthy of, of better things. Where can I make a change now if I allow myself to believe that I do deserve to receive good in all ways? When I emerge from this lockdown, some people will be saying, um, I want to emerge better, stronger than before. I want to emerge as a higher version of myself. And so therefore, we might decide that it's time for us to draw a line under things that do not make us happy or do not make us feel fulfilled in work or perhaps you were accepting less than you deserve in terms of your salary or in terms of the type of uh, work that you allowed yourself to become a part of. So know that you're worthy, know that everyone on this planet is worthy, everyone is valuable. The people who keep the, the streets clean are extremely valuable, the people who keep the supermarket shelves stocked are extremely valuable, so our priorities have changed. So for some, it will also be a question of realising for the first time, maybe, just how worthy and how valuable you are and therefore going forward into the future with a greater sense of being deserving of better things, you know, higher things, lighter things, things that make your heart sing and that make you truly happy. OK, everyone, hope you enjoyed that. That's our reading for today. It's timeless. So whenever you come to this reading, it will be the perfect time for you to see it and um, have a wonderful day. Bye.